Greetings and welcome to completing this square using some pictures as well as some algebra. So here's an illustration of a square, each uh, with the length x for the side and the area of the squared is x squared as it equals x times x. And I wrote the x squared off to the right which is where I'll be listing a little pattern of completed square trinomials. So I need to complete this square. I am going to take the existing square and build onto it. And build a little skinny rectangle up here. I'll to fix that. And add on another skinny rectangle down here. The length of the rectangle is the same as the length of the side of the square, which is x. So I'm going to call this x, and I'm going to call this length uh, 1. And that is a side of length 1, and uh, this has a length of x. So we almost have a larger square. I just kind of pasted on two uh, narrow rectangles uh, with the length of x and the area is 1 times x, which is just x. Length of 1 down here and that's also an x. So we need to fill in this little corner. Complete this square, I'm going to finish it off and that's going to be a 1 up there. So we have a larger square. So geometrically, you have the original x squared, and then plus an x, plus another x, and plus a 1. So that's going to yield, algebraically, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Well, I'm going to build a larger square. Move back to my diagram and add on another skinny rectangle. And over here as well, another skinny rectangle. This one's another unit long, and it has another x. And another unit long. And I've got this corner in the upper right. I need to complete that, finish that off. Oh, looks like kind of like an upside down L. So I'm going to draw a couple lines and make that. There's now four little squares. There used to be one little square. Now there are four of those. In each of these I can call one. Once we have one over here, one down there, and one, 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 one. How many little squares are there? Four. So back to our algebraic side. We have the original x squared. How many x's are we adding on? One, two, three, four. Four of those x's. And how many little squares? The little ones inside. One, two, three, four. Of x squared plus four x plus four. Oh, now add on another rectangle. I'll do one more. I'm running out of room. There's another one with another x. And fill this. I can see that's coming. Another x. Another length one. And I need to uh, break this up. Oh, how many squares now? The original square is ever larger. And we have one here, one, one, a one, and a one. Oh, how many little ones are there? Nine. So, we have our original squared, x squared. How many x's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. x squared plus a 6x. And how many tiny squares do we now have in this great big completed square? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. x squared plus 6x plus 9. And notice that each of the single degree terms of x the 2x, 4x, 6x seem to be increasing by 2 each time, so I think this pattern will probably go to what? We have 2, 4, 6, and who do we appreciate? 8. And
and these constants on the right. Hmm, their squared numbers. 1 is 1 squared. 4 equals 2 times 2. 9 equals 3 times 3. We predict the next such square will be 16. And if we keep going with these terms, these trinomials, 2, 4, 6, 8, oh, now we're going to have a 10x, 10x of the x, plus another square, 25. Also note that if you take half the coefficient of these x's and square that, you'll get that constant. For instance, half of the 6 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Or half of 10 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So that was a little geometric example of uh, three completed squares, uh, starting with the x squared and adding on three more completed squares. Uh, thanks for watching.